So you're very welcome back to Unstable TV. So we have another suggestion coming in from you guys, and this one comes all the way from Danielle. We'll let you know now in a sec. But before <laughs> we get into that, if this is your first time on the channel. Do not forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Make sure you hit that bell so you do not miss anything. And if you're back with us again, thanks. What are we reacting on today, Danielle? So on our adventures in Australia so far, we met a couple of people and we were having a bit of fun with their accents. Yeah. So they asked us, because we do a video with the Liverpool accent. So we're going to try our best. Yeah. Um, please don't be too harsh with us in the comments. We're going to try. And this is a video about Liverpool as well. It is the 10 best things to do in Liverpool. We're going to try and do a Liverpool impression for you guys now. I will go first. I'm being serious. I'm not talking about if and buts or maybes. I'm being serious. Are we doing this whole video on a Liverpool accent, lad? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I don't know. Give yeah. it a bash, lad. <laughs> being serious. <laughs> are you laughing at me? Who are you laughing at? <laughs> so, without further ado, let's watch this together. Let's go. Liverpool is a maritime city in the northwest of England, where the River Mersey meets the Irish Sea, a key trade and migration port mm -hmm. from the 18th to the early 20th century. It's also famously the hometown of the famous group The Beatles. Of course. Liverpool is considered you know. to be a capital of culture mm -hmm. in both England and Europe, with numerous art galleries, museums, and attractions to interest all the family. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Liverpool, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is Tate Liverpool and the historic Albert Dock. Liverpool is famous for its art collections and Tate Liverpool is one of the most well-known galleries. Tate Liverpool features work from the Tate Collection that showcases British art from the 16th century to the present day, specializing in contemporary and modern art. The gallery stands on the historic Albert Dock, a heritage site that is a great place to find entertainment and food, as well as explore the well-preserved history of this maritime city. Number 9 is St. John's Beacon Viewing Gallery, the Radio City Tower. The Radio City Tower is Liverpool's world-famous radio tower. Built in 1969, it is over 400 feet tall, and originally had a revolving restaurant at the top. Today, there is an observation deck open for visitors and you can take an elevator to the top for some of the best panoramic views of the city Ooh. and to stand in a historic piece of Liverpool. At number 8 is the Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Liverpool. The Hop-On Hop-Off Bus Liverpool is the best way to see all you want in this large port city, home to stunning architecture, world-class museums, and great attractions. From the Cavern Quarter to the historic Albert Dock, hop on and off whenever you like at all of Liverpool's best, most convenient locations for sightseeing. Each bus is equipped with panoramic windows and an informative live guide, giving helpful commentaries along the route. Number 7 is the Cavern Club. The Cavern Club is very famous in the music scene as the home of the Beatles during their early years. Uh, this underground yeah. cellar originally opened in 1957 as a jazz club and quickly became the hub of rock and roll during the 1960s. The Beatles performed at the Cavern Club nearly 300 times in two years. Visit the new Cavern Club to take a photo by the stage, or to catch an act following in the footsteps of the famous four. At number six, down, there's the Magical Beatles Museum. Visit one of the largest singularly owned authentic Beatles collections in the world, in the heart of their hometown, Liverpool. See vintage clothes, letters, telegrams, posters, flyers, jewelry, and get close to authentic instruments, like George Harrison's close. guitar and Ringo's <laughs> snare drum. Combining a fantastic audiovisual experience with a huge collection of memorabilia, the Magical Beatles Museum will inspire thousands of Beatles fans looking to you learn know. even more, <laughs> right in the place where it all started. Number 5 is Sefton Park. Sefton Park is one of Liverpool's largest public parks. With almost 250 acres, Ooh. this Grade 1 listed site provides an abundance of wonderful green spaces. Kids will love the huge playground and multi-play area, while those enjoying horticulture can explore the Victorian Palm House, which is home to Liverpool's botanical collection. There are also caves and waterfalls to discover oh. if you're feeling adventurous. Is random? No, there's waterfalls in Liverpool. Is Liverpool Cathedral. Liverpool? Liverpool Cathedral is Britain's largest I'm serious? church. Mysterious? Mysterious? This neo-Gothic building was designed by Sir Giles Gilbert Scott and is an absolutely stunning piece of architecture. Wow. The cathedral is free to enter and look around. However, the tower and audio tour is highly recommended. Travel to the top of the tower on the tower experience and enjoy unrivaled panoramic views from 500 feet above sea level. Ooh. 
Number three is the Merseyside Maritime Museum. What's this? The Merseyside Maritime Museum is located on the historic Albert Dock and is the best place to go to learn about Liverpool's industrial and maritime history. Ooh. The museum celebrates Liverpool's international importance, connecting Britain to many other nations and cultures. At the museum, you can learn about Liverpool's role in immigration, with many people traveling to America from Liverpool, as well as the famous ship Titanic, which had strong links to its registered city That's of true. Liverpool. At number two is the Liverpool FC Stadium Tour. Of course. A dominant football force for most of the 1970s and 1980s, Liverpool <laughs> FC remains one of the world's most famous and best supported clubs. They played their home games at the wonderful Anfield Stadium that is north of the city centre. You'll never a walk alone, lad. will reveal everything there is to know about the club's history. Plus, you'll get a glimpse inside the changing rooms, walk up the tunnel and get to stand on the pitch itself. Help me once, lad. I bleed red. And at number one <laughs> is the Mersey Ferry Cruise. The Daily River Explorer Cruise runs year-round and is a fantastic way for the whole family to see oh, Liverpool's really cool. world-famous yeah. waterfront. A the cruise offers unbeatable views of Liverpool's famous skyline with an informative commentary guide to give you the facts as you go. Visitors will be captivated as the rich and fascinating history of this UNESCO World Heritage waterfront unfolds along the oh, way. It's UNESCO, sorry. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Liverpool. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Everyone's just being like... The Beatles are from there, you know. You know. If you go to Liverpool, go and see the Beatles. Oh. I have no idea what accent that is. I'm <laughs> trying my best to do a Liverpool accent then. So four stuff, lad. <laughs> a very big shout out to the original content creator. <laughs> Make sure you give them a like, subscribe and share. And a very big shout out to you guys for sending this one over. All right, that's as good as I can do. That was Scottish. Scottish. <laughs> that, was, that was more Scottish than Liverpool. I have to deal with my bit now really and cool. the Liverpool accents. What am I doing? Yeah. We're not slagging here. We're literally just asked to try the Liverpool accents. Yeah, we were asked out. by people we met over here. Try the best way. We're trying? Yeah. Why is it sounding Scottish? I don't know. They're probably sitting behind the camera laughing. Yeah. We're literally trying our best here and we sound like we're from the Highlands. So. Yeah. So of course, a very big shout out to the original content creator. Do make sure you check them out, you know, and give them a like, subscribe, and share all that good YouTube stuff. I did want to check out Liverpool and see what it had to offer because when you think of Liverpool, globally, we all, the Beatles, straight away, it's the hometown of the Beatles, it's where they first performed. Like your man said, they've done 300 gigs over the course of, what was it, two years, was it, under there? Yeah, I think so. That's a huge spot. Like they, they have that pictured everywhere. Like even when you see any documentaries with the Beatles or anything, it's always that on the ground is where they first started. But um, the Industrial Revolution, and I didn't realize the Titanic stopped there a lot. I didn't know there was a waterfall in Liverpool. Yeah, now neither did I. I didn't know that now, but the ferry looks really cool yeah. to go around in. I love. Love going around and like a ferry show. We done that recently yeah. in Dublin, going around on a ferry show to the city. Yeah, but like every place we visit, we always try and deal with the boat tours if they have them anyway. Um, so they're always just so good. Yeah, but that's good. That's a UNESCO site as well, so yeah. it's well preserved. Um, yeah, there's a lot more than I thought. Yeah. I, I didn't. I thought it was just wall to wall Beatles when you go to Liverpool. Paul McCartney greets you when you walk in, and then you go to the football stadium <laughs> and the team waves at you. Do, yeah. I thought that's all that happens there, but there's a lot more to Liverpool. What was your favourite spot, Daniel? Yeah, well, I'm gonna have to try. I'm gonna have to try Liverpool accent here because you tried some. Yeah. I have been to Liverpool before, lads. <laughs> oh, that was actually alright. Yeah, that was good. Um, I went to one Beatle museum and that was it. And I went to that big shopping centre. So I've seen a bit myself. Haven't seen a few things on this list though. They look really good. And then I just turned Australian. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, yeah, no, I was in Liverpool before, but we like it was just the, the Beatles Museum and like a small one. Um, and then you know we just went drinking, so we we're only there for a weekend. But yeah, Liverpool looks like a lovely city, lovely place to visit. And there's loads more to Liverpool than I saw from this video. Yeah. So especially like you said, the waterfalls and stuff. Didn't have a clue about anything like that. Didn't know this was UNESCO heritage sites. So definitely more to Liverpool that meets the eye. Definitely a lot to do if you're a tourist there. Definitely a lot to do if you don't like the Beatles. Because I know a lot of people don't like them either. So it's not just about the Beatles. 
Liverpool seems like a good crack, lad. So, of course, let us know your thoughts about this in the comments down below. Which was your favourite spot? Don't just pick the Beatles. Exactly. I know. I'd say everyone that lives in Liverpool is sick of hearing of the Beatles. Oh, I'd say so, yeah. Yeah, I'd say they're sick of hearing about it. But um, I don't blame them. That's like us hearing about U2 constantly. Yeah. Irish people don't like U2. But, um, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All the Irish people now would be like, U2 the made them a thing. Stop lying. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course... Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments down below. And don't forget to be serious. <laughs> and that has been our two cents. And we will chop ourselves out. Of this.